And breaking right now at five, at least one teen is injured after a shooting near Andrew Jackson High. A law enforcement source tells News for Jax the teen is a student at the high school. Andrew Jackson High has been under a code red lockdown as students get dismissed today. News for Jax reporter Renee Beninati is joining us live. Renee, you're uh, outside the school's bus loop now, and that's where parents are picking up their students. Kent, yes, over the past hour, it has been extremely tense and understandably emotional. There have been dozens and dozens of students waiting here at the bus loop, the dismissal lane, waiting to get picked up by their parents. I have seen parents holding their kids, rushing away from the school, some students crying. As I said, a very tense and understandably emotional afternoon. There has been a large law enforcement presence. The school has been roped off with crime scene tape. Dozens of cops have been here. JSO confirmed there was a shooting right near the school campus property here. JFRD says one person was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. I talked to several students who say the last bell rang around 2.50 this uh, afternoon and within minutes they heard a shooting. When did you realize that something was going on? So I was walking to get my things from a class and all I hear is Somebody saying they shooting and kids start running back inside the building. And at that point, what did you do? I started running because I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Parents, we have talked to students, teachers, all just shaken up by everything that has happened. But there is a very large presence. If you follow me, you can see that this crime scene tape surrounds the entire campus of the school. There's still a heavy law enforcement presence. You can see this officer out here. Uh, students are getting escorted by police as they get into their cars and details are limited now. We are trying to gather more information here outside of the scene and we will keep you updated with any information as soon as it comes in. Reporting live, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, The Local Station.